Hello and welcome to Jory's Workshop. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to convert this cheap, nasty, plastic drawer cabinet into this, a strong, sturdy drawer cabinet for your plastic drawers. We'll see you after this. Okay, we're back. So before we get into today's project, I want to quickly say, obviously you can see that I've moved the workshop. Um, I've purposely set up this small workshop in a confined space because I know a lot of you won't have access to a big work area. You'd be working in garden sheds, back rooms, basements, whatever. So this space is approximately five meters by six meters. It's a hexagonal shape, so it's quite a difficult shape to fit things into. So. I'm going to show you over the coming months how I've built the different things, the benches, the back panels, and we're going to add extra stuff to it. So you can follow me on that journey of occupying this space and making it more efficient. Um, if you can hear that, apologies, that's, it's not the wife in the basement howling, it's actually the wind. I live in quite a hilly area up in the Pennines where it's very windy, so not the ideal place to film, but hopefully other days it won't be a problem. Um, okay, so let's get on and do today's project. So first off, apologies, this is all new to me. I'm used to sitting in my little leather work room and just talking to a camera. I've actually got to get up and do stuff here. It's a lot, <laughs> it's different. Um, so forgive me if it's a bit higgly piggly. I will get better, promises, promises, I will get better. Right. So first off, there is a plan for this project. If you're interested, you can download it from the website. This is the plan. Now the plan is based on this particular size of drawer. These come in all sorts of different sizes, but this is, I think, it's a two and a half litre um, size drawer. So the biggest problem with these is that they're just so flimsy. They fall apart. When you try and pick them up, they just fall in pieces. So they're rubbish, but the actual drawers inside them are actually good quality, good strong drawers. So the cabinet will utilise the same drawers, but we'll chuck away the rubbishy plastic bit. So like I say, the plan is based on this particular size drawer, um, giving us, I believe it's six drawers high, might be seven, check the plan, I've forgotten. So. Um, Whatever size you get, you just modify the dimensions, obviously, to fit your particular drawer. But this is a two and a half litre drawer. It's about 260 mil deep by about 165 wide. So we're going to make our cabinet based on this size drawer. So I'm using 12 millimeter MDF, but you can use whatever you want. Plywood, furniture board, Conti board, whatever you suit. Suits your particular fancy or what you've got hanging around in the workshop. Okay, so the first job is to cut down your material. I'm using the MFT3 table and the Festool track saw. I'll go into more detail about these particular tools in a future video. So once you've cut all of your sides, you need to then obviously cut the seven small shelves and the toe kick. So once all your pieces are cut as per the drawing, you should have two sides, seven shelves, a small piece for the toe kick, I've also cut two little extra pieces for spacers, which we'll show you a bit later. Right, so we have our two side panels and our shelves and our toe kick. So the next stage is just to fix it all together and make our carcass. So we take one of the shelves, find the, the best edge. It's going to be your, your, your fence edge. And same with your shelf. What we're going to do is we're going to do a simple butt joint, glue them, and in my case I'm going to use some brad nails with an air gun stapler, fix it together. You can use screws, nails, whatever you want. And with MDF, because we're using wood glue, it really soaks in the glue and forms a very strong joint. So the pins are just to hold it while it dries. So let's do that first. So I'm just using standard wood glue. 
this is a tight bond if you're interested so let's put your glue on see MDF works really well with wood glue it really forms a strong bond so you don't need a lot of it so take our first piece Hold the edges together, get them nice and square. Then I take my nail gun, top first, just put a sing sing single nail in there. Line up the bottom, make sure everything's nice and square. I've got a leaky air gun. So there we go. That's the first piece. Oh, be quiet. That's your first piece in. So I'm going to use the spacer that we made earlier. Just to get the spacing for the next one, we just put that in place and then we can put our next shelf in position and do exactly the same procedure. So we'll do that, speed it up. So, so that's that. Final piece is just to fit the toe kick. So that just slots in there. Bit of glue. And put it in. Set it back about maybe the thickness of a piece of wood. And then again, just uh, a couple of nails. So the last piece is just the piece of hardboard to go on. So we'll turn the box over, just put some glue on. And just take the hardboard, good side down. So there we have it, the finished product. So give it a good sand and then it's ready for your drawers.
do is try try one of the drawers and they should fit nicely there you go see obviously you can take a bit more time with it and uh, if you want to paint it give it a good sand prime it undercoat paint it do whatever you want really it's up to you it's your project so we'll put all the drawers in and we'll see the final product So there we go. There we go. Get rid of this wicked old bit of plastic. Get rid of it. And have a nice new solid cabinet for your workshop, your craft area, your whatever, your laundry basket. These little drawers, they're really good strong drawers. They're very sturdy, good for keeping bits and pieces in. I'm going to be making several of these. You can do it vertical like this, or you could do a horizontal one where the drawers are side by side. I intend making some larger units with bigger drawers at the bottom and gradually building up to smaller size drawers as it gets taller. So that's it for the project. I hope you think it's worth the effort. Um, so that was my first build video since the transition from Geordie Leather. So I hope that was okay. Um, things will get better, I'm sure. So over the next few months, we'll be modifying the workshop, making some improvements, doing some tool reviews. Um, I've got lots of new gadgets and tools on order, so looking forward to showing you those and how to use them. Um, don't forget, the new website has a competition every month now, so the January 22 competition is currently open. If you head across to Georgia Leather, Sorry, no, it's not Geordie Leather. I've got to get used to saying geordiesworkshop.com and check out the YouTube section where the competition is listed. You'll also find the plan that I mentioned earlier in the YouTube section in the plans section. So that's it for now. Um, we'll see you soon with the next video. Thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the channel, you'd help like to support what I do here, please consider becoming a patron. There is a link just there and also in the description. Um, it does help. Uh, if not, then that's fine. A subscribe, a thumbs up would be very welcome. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.